I'm going to show uh, an update on the custom notebook image flow. There is this link to the HackMD where the design has been worked on. And basically, we have a custom resource definition that tries to cover all the use cases uh, for um, bring your own notebook and custom notebook image. I'm going to show the latest uh, that has been implemented, which is creating a custom notebook image that builds from a Git repo. The CRD looks like this. Um, the example is available on Askinema. I'm going to play it as and explain as it plays. I hope it's visible. Just to mention that the example here um, is not the Elira tutorial mentioned in the HackMD. It's a simpler repo to operate at the first community. This is um, a custom resource called uh, custom notebook image that points to that GitHub repo. And creating it results in um, the creation of a pipeline run. There is the meter operator run, running on that cluster that created this uh, pipeline run that implements actually this build from a repo. Here we see the logs of the the pipeline being executed. Um, maybe it's already not visible. Uh, maybe a highlight of the after creation part of the custom resource was that it was showing as running, matching the state of the pipeline run. Once this completes running, um, the custom resource object gets updated. And actually, well, I cannot show it at the same time, but it should be updated as the pipeline status progresses. Um, while this finishes, it will not take more. I will mention that there are other use cases. For example, there is this image import type from the same custom resource, which implements the importing from an existing notebook image. This one here is building a notebook image from a GitHub repo. The other use case importing, it generates an image stream uh, usable by Jupyter Hub from an existing image. This one here again, back to the GitHub repo, which the pipeline mm, just finished, we can see well, the successful run of the pipeline run and the matching ready, ready status of the custom notebook image. And this is the image stream that was created by the pipeline, which again matches the requirements from uh, Jupyter Hub to spawn that image. That's basically the demo I had. Any questions, comments, feedback? Oh, so go ahead. Uh, um, so the image which is created, uh, uh, like I, I remember that there are two, there were two tracks. There was one creation of Jupyter books and then creation of Jupyter notebooks. Uh, I think the build was for the Jupyter books based on the base image which I saw. Uh, maybe that's something which we should change back. Uh, yeah. Um... I took the pipelines from the Meteor operator, but I only took the Jupyter Hub build pipeline, and I did some modifications. I simplified it a bit, but there are still a few things remaining. One of them, as you mentioned, is the selection of the base image that gets used. Uh, that's yeah, that's on the to-do list. Let's say uh, there are different problems for this particular repo. It's picking the default base image, which might not be the best suited. If there is an ACI CI YAML file on the repo, but the uh, repo is configured to use from using a Docker file, then the whole pipeline fails. I mean, there, there are a couple of issues still pending, but I mean, the, 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 the main goal of this demo was to show how the, the operator triggers the pipeline and the pipeline more or less succeeds. There are a few things. Oh, That's the Yes, uh, this is amazing. So most interesting, interesting thing to mention is um, on the custom resource, it's called build type. 
Mm, it took me nearly a day to figure out that there is a bug um, if you're going to call things type, which is also a reserved word in TypeScript and in JavaScript. And if you're doing the open API parsing of OpenShift and you're going to use TypeScript for that and you're going to hit that reserved word, uh, it cannot validate the API, therefore the operator SDK tooling and the Golang tooling cannot process all that stuff and therefore it cannot validate the custom resource. And if you think that is a little bit weird, yes, that is exactly what the upstream people think or what our open shift people think. Um, um, but it is really a bug that exists over there. I think I link, cross-linked it in, in one of the issues uh, that we have created and that is uh, really interesting and hard to understand because the error messages are completely off. They are talking about um, can't validate, this is not a valid um, resource on Kubernetes and uh, I needed a, a human brain that can remember the history of three or five years um, to dig out that that behavior and that bug. So it's, it's it's also not all, everything is not good in the Golang universe, I would say. It's also a very funny universe. Cool. Thanks, Pep. Any other questions? Cool. Thanks, Pep. Thank you.